Beautiful weather that we had today, even yesterday. Well, that's just uh, not stopping anytime soon. Want to take a quick look, though, at the tropics before we get to that as we continue to watch this uh, kind of awkward dance that tropical storms Philippe and Rena uh, continue to do out in the central Atlantic. Rena on more of a north northwesterly jog moving away from Philippe right now. But as you can see, an extremely disorganized system, honestly hanging on for dear life here at this point. The center of circulation right about here, but you can see just about all of it. Shower and thunderstorm activity well removed, not really even showing much sign of a circulation around it at this point. Philippe looking healthier, but still lopsided. All the activity to the east side of the center. Philippe, however, is expected to actually go on a bit of a uh, strengthening jog here as we go into the next few days, where Rena is expected to weaken down to nothing more than a remnant low uh, over those same parts of the Atlantic over the next 24 hours or so. Philippe is going to eventually start to get more on the move back toward the north and northwest just barely skirting the Leeward Islands there, closer to the Virgin Islands, in fact, uh, before then taking a more northerly turn Tuesday into Wednesday. The current track showing uh, signs that it may actually strengthen a bit. Now projected to at least become a Category 1 hurricane by Tuesday afternoon and maintain that strength going all the way out through Thursday. Either way, though, outside of that brief little brush by the Leeward Islands, uh, the storm not expected to be a major threat to any landmass, certainly uh, not the United States. Back here at home, it's just all about high pressure. Here at this point, it's starting to sink farther south out of the Ohio Valley. So the stable air mass that we've had in place lending itself to the beautiful weather, just poised to keep on getting more reinforcements here. Here it is on future track as we look into the overnight period. There may be a few clouds from time to time, but overwhelmingly for everybody getting up tomorrow morning, heading out for church services, grabbing the morning paper or the cup of coffee, whatever it's going to be. Uh, weather's in great shape for it. Just watch out for some patchy fog in the mountains that will dissipate quickly. And then another part of a mostly sunny sky for us going into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening as well with, by the way, another round of uh, abnormally warm temperatures for this point in October. But can't deny that it's going to be a beautiful start to the month. And it looks like we'll also carry that on repeat going on into Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> Dry weather persisting all the way through Thursday with steady high temperatures in the low 80s upstate and uh, cool nights with lows down into the 50s. Friday tries to offer up some rain for us, but doesn't look like anything significant. Just a few passing nuisance showers, but I guess we'll take anything we can get at this point and also generally dry in the mountains tomorrow all the way through Thursday before that shower chance Friday. Highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s all week long. Dana.